Hello everyone and welcome back to Mars Horizon. We continue to build our space station mission, that is the Tatakao here. And we've got a Mars lander next phase, it is arriving at Mars and we will have to do some maneuvers there. Okay, PR office is complete. So hopefully that will get us more public support. We already passed tier 12, so we'll get, we will get we will be getting more funding. Um, right now we're getting tier 11 funding. Okay. So next month, I guess we do have an extra mission slot that I could use. And we do have some budget, though we might want to build some buildings. Um, let's see. Yeah, one mission slot available. Let's see if there's anything around Earth that's particularly fancy. Weather satellite, this makes a lot of money. Heat shield analysis makes a lot of science. We don't have much science going on. So, but I hate the heat shield analysis because this experimental fuel, and of course it's crude. Control system check, also a crude mission. Very, very nervous about crude missions. <laughs> uh, so, lunar orbit we've done, obviously, and there's no request. Nobody wants us to do anything around the moon. We've already got a Mars lander on the way, so there's that. Mars requirement, engine and habitat, send lander... There's other stuff here. Mars prep ground hab. So the big Mars preparation stuff is these things here. And at least they give us some science, so that's nice. So a robotic rover, well that's simple. Crude rover. Mars crude rover. We we get that down here. We are a long ways off from that. But it looks like we can get there without doing some of this other stuff. So if we just went down the X-ray telescope line, we could get there. But we're currently doing modular space station, so we're aiming for the Mars surface habitat first. Well, I mean, we're further along on this one, though. So, yeah. Anyway, the point is we don't have to go through the grand tour business if we want to at least get some of the Mars readiness stuff going with the surface habitat and the crude rover. So that is a thought. Uh, any requests for Mars? Impact analysis. A two-part Martian probe. One part will impact the surface while the other... I don't think there's ever actually been a Mars impactor. Uh, to be... I, I don't remember one. That That is something that we did with the moon. Though I don't recall if there was ever an impactor plus uh, orbiter. I mean, not intentionally. Usually there was a lander plus orbiter and it ac the lander accidentally impacted. But... Yeah, that's an interesting one. Subsurface penetrator. Drive an instrument deep into the ground. Oh, they're being very uh, innovative here. At least in that I don't think these things have been done. I mean, not, not using the speed of impact to do that. That one doesn't even have an orbiter portion. I wonder how they managed the orbiter portion on this one. Well, uh, let's plan the mission. Let's see. It's got a lot of science, and I want science now. Well, I guess Sakigake is good enough, or... Apparently Nozomi is also good. Hmm. I mean, Nozomi is only a little bit more expensive, and it's more reliable, and has a better payload rating, so... Uh, but it's much heavier. But then again, I, I don't think... Hmm. They're not paying us that much. <laughs> uh, this will require a smaller launch vehicle. Let's see. Um, There's 2.2 ton thing. We'll see if it's really cheaper. Oh, but I can't see ahead of time. Uh, see, I mean, uh, payloads are often built with reference to their launch vehicle, you know? Hmm. Alright, we'll take a risk on this one. 70% payload reliability. We'll go cheap in order to get the science. Okay, now we've got the Tatakao ready. And the Mars lander is ready for its next thing, but it'll probably bring me to the Tatakao, yeah. Alright. So, a science crew will have zero recuperation time upon mission success. Okay. Are we launching crew with it? We're launching crew with the space station? Speaking of things that don't happen, but okay, we should launch crew to the space station afterwards, but well, this does make it easier, and why not? We got a lot of candidates here. Takahashi. 
Launch reliability for mission vehicle. I mean, you know, that's always good. I don't care about retirement age. Probably gotta die before then. <laughs> um, uh, higher cost is the thing. I don't know how many we want to. Support reward. Start each task with plus one power. Lots of celebrities. Problem solver. Minus, minus one random resource requirement per task. I don't know how that actually shapes up. It's interesting. Got five astronauts. That's not much. Um, let's see. What's our astronaut budget right now? 20, 27, I mean the salary. 27, uh, 41, 50. Uh, let's say we were, we are willing to bump it up. That's 60. So, higher. Let's get the test pilot. 72. We only have one celebrity right now. Two test pilots, one problem solver, one comm specialist. Um, that's who's the cheapest celebrity. <laughs> 9. 12. 11. Okay, we'll take the 9. I mean, it's the same mission support reward. Um, to retire a little bit earlier than the others, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. We're in 1976 only, though, so... Well, Matsumoto Itomi will retire in 1981, so we better put her to use. Science reward. I don't know if there's much science reward on this mission. Overview. Oh, there's plenty of science. Okay, well, let's get the science reward then. Okay, who else is retiring soon? Or sooner? Uh, this Miyamoto test pilot. Plus 5% launch reliability. Actually, we'd like to fire him because uh, 14k and doing the same as this 12k one. But okay, let's go with it. Launch reliability is 78%. I still think that's job one, making sure that the launch is reliable, so we'll uh, continue working on that. And we'll wait until February. Looks like we're going to be maybe second. But we were supposed to beat China. Yeah, so China's doing it in March. Not great, but let's just go with it. All right, so that's our space station mission. Okay, let's go back. Mars lander, yes, continue mission. What are they going to have us do? Execute trajectory correction. Oh, this is a mid-course adjustment. Okay, well, we need comms. We've got power. Data. Oh, and we need thrust. That pretty much nails the thrust. At least there's no drift or anything. But every turn we have a decaying thing, so... Let's just get those first, and then maybe more power. And then pump up our thrust. Don't want negative situation there. Okay. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. And that's excellent. All right. So for now, we've got the minimum requirement. Three turns remaining on the thrust. Three turns remaining. Um, we should just get a whole bunch of comms. Now, nah, maybe we'll do this and get two power. I might be taking it too easy, though. Okay, first uh, let's get an overabundance of thrust. And we've nailed the basics on the comms, so let's. Well, let's get more comms. And then parlay that to more nav. 
That's like recycling. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Get all the comms that we need. There's only one way to get thrust though, so we have to keep that in mind. Okay, that was excellent. This is a good little probe. So far, well, it's gonna get me when I least expect it. So far, so good though. Okay, if we lose one of the thrusts this turn, then we'll still have enough for the bonus. The main thing is the nav, and we're not getting enough of that. Well, that's a surefire way to get a lot of nav. And then you can spend one, and I'll do the comms up to bonus level. And then we sh still have two power to save things. Let's get three power and that should nail it because we can save each one of these. Unless I'm missing something here, that should take care of it. Well, here we go, yeah. Resist. Ah, see, see, they were saving all the failures for the last one. All right. All right. So we did that. Next is... Immediate or later? Uh, it looks like later. That's in five months. Wow, it's taking a while to get there. Still, yeah, it was a mid-course adjustment. It's in the middle here. Okay. So, yep, we're just waiting for the launch. I think. Oh, the space station. Oh, and we're completing the Sakigake. The science mission. Okay, design vehicle. Hopefully, we can make something cheap. Because we picked a cheap probe. Cheap but reliable would be nice. Well, this is minimal. The, just what we need. But it's not very reliable. This one is overkill. We could have sent the bigger probe on that. Very much overkill. So it's like this, but man, that reliability. Centaur C. I don't remember any good things about Centaur C. <laughs> uh, wow, that looks like a rocket, doesn't it? I mean, it says it could work. So uh, we have a uh, experimental fuel thing on this, so that's why we have horrible reliability. But 37 is not good. This is better, but much more expensive. Not horrible, though. Three month build time only. Wish I knew when the Mars window was for this mission. Because there's no point building it too early, right? Delta is always the best on reliability. Contractor. Ito Industries. Oh, we can do this. I've never even tried this. Changing who's building it. So more science from Ito Industries, but more cost. Um, Astronautica will take longer, but reduce the cost. Hmm. I don't mind it taking longer, I think. Maybe we should go for more reliable upper stage. That's really expensive, though. But... And yeah, we could have sent the better probe with that. But let's say we did that and go with Astronautica. It makes it cheaper than the other option anyway. It'll take longer to build. Relative newcomer. Well, as long as there's no catches, I'd rather have the 70% launch reliability. Uh, sorry, 60% launch reliability. Oh, it's not uh, heavy enough for the thing. Oops, I forgot two boosters. That's because we changed to the Delta K, so... Uh... Should we just go cheap and take our chances, though? I mean, we selected the probe to be cheap. Let's just go ch cheap and take our chances. It'll be interesting. Alright. At least we won't lose too much. Okay. 
Well, we got our boost to our funding. Hopefully the PR office keeps giving us good stuff like that. Okay, launching the space station. All right, this is fairly good. Let's check the weather. Good conditions. Well, good times. We can possibly beat China. Not entirely sure why the fairing is so small. It makes us makes it look like we're launching a very small space station instead of Skylab. I don't know if, uh, except for the tests, whether Saturn 1B ever launched with such a small... Wow, we barely... Good thing we had good reliability. Um, ever launched with such a small fairing, except for on the tests. Okay, well, the Saturn 1B is improved. And Skylab only has one solar panel. Hey, we had a good launch. It's supposed to have both solar panels if we have a good launch. It only has one solar panel if we have a bad launch. Wow, we need 25 nav and bonus is 50? That's a lot of nav. I'm surprised we're not collecting data from Skylab, but okay. Um, so we get... We get our best bet here. We can use peoples and comms. This is an interesting thing, but we got six turns. I guess space stations let you have a lot of turns, huh? Only three slots, though. So we'll get six like that. That's not enough. We need to get a lot more per turn. I mean, if we want the bonus. That's bonus. Oh! EVA. Okay. Orbital plane adjustment. Orbital plane adjustment is just not a good thing for a space station to do ever, but okay. Um, take what we can get. Let's get 10 nav. A bit more power. We don't have any drift or anything like that. Okay. And I'll resist with the power. Okay. And nav again and more power. And we'll resist. Okay, we've got the requirement. Power. Skylab always needs more power. Okay, well, we'll do that. Hopefully we won't have too many more failures. No, we don't have any power to resist, though. Ah! Uh, I'll just accept the lower amount. Okay, last turn. Can we get the bonus? We don't have any data, though. So, spend nav to get that and do two of these. Okay, well, that'll get it. But we won't be able to resist. So... We're spending three nav to get six comms and then doing two turns of this gyroscopic stabilization to boost us up to 50. So let's see. Uh, it's already done for. We can't resist. We'll get the requirement. But... Oh. How, how did that even work out? I don't even know. Okay, uh, fine. Okay. Deploy space station systems. Wow, we're not even done yet.
Oh, there's drift. This drift. Watch out. Mm, okay. Manual data collection. Yeah. Should. Let's just get the comms there. We had more turns on this thing. And with all that manual data collection, we should get some data, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, I guess that's not how that works. Well, that'll keep us to zero, but we're fluctuating, so there's a random drift, too. Okay, let's resist. I don't want to mess with the drift. Uh, and we'll use two comms to get some more data. Let's use lots of comms to get that one. Okay, that keeps us at zero, theoretically. Okay. Well, if we... Well, that's a lot of drift in that direction. Let's get nav like that. get more comms and spend comms to get the other two okay that keeps us steady everything would be temporarily satisfied as long as we can get all that done nope oh, that's a bonus single attenuation test is good and external sensor alignment is good okay so now just the bonus. We don't have a whole lot of ways to get the nav, just this one and that one. This one gives all sorts of stuff. Let's get some power though. Let's, yeah, maybe cause some drift in this direction. And then spend a little bit of stuff to drift back and get more comms. Then we'll spend the comms in the next turn using that one to get both resources. Oh, barely successful there. Okay, so that was the plan. Got extra drift to deal with. keep that centered okay not quite there next turn will be the last turn can we do this um we need one of those and three of those so just one more round of this one but we're only gonna have two comms to spend uh maybe just the power and the person but then we'll fall one short of the data and we'll get some drift. Ah, uh, let's just see what happens. And that's good. Alright. And we're stable. If we do that, we just need one. We can get the data with the... We spend a person, uh, spend some comms, we get the data. If we just then do this one, we get a little bit of drift. And we don't want drift. <laughs> Must equal zero. We'd have to drift back, but then if we fail, then we don't have enough power to save ourselves. But then the drift usually, usually doesn't fail. It isn't part of the failure. Uh, well... No, that's not going to work. The nav is too low compared to what we need. Okay, I don't think I can do this. Uh, get the bonus. I'll get as close as we can get. And maybe we'll get a really good result and get an extra point of something. That's our only hope. So uh, what I'm going to do is that one, which will guarantee these two. 
Uh, oh, cancel that. Because this one gives all three resources. Gotta get power and then drift back. Okay, and so we short the data. But if we get a good result on that, maybe we'll get a bonus data. Let's see. Oh, almost. Well, no luck there. Alright, we got what we got. Station deployment is complete. And we've got the second space station. And more Mars experience. And they're recuperating for a whole year. Beat China to the space station at least. Okay, next phase of the Mars lander. Approaching Mars. Sort of the wrong way though. <laughs> but okay. Okay, well, let's just get the basics. And a whole lot of nav. Oh, we got another slot power. It's nice to have four slots. Ah, uh, resist. Oh, we spent two. That that was one of the ones that cost two power. Well, let's get lots of comms like that, and then turn that and power into lots of nav like that. Get even more comms. Get some power to resist. Okay. Yep, here comes the resistance. Okay, the compression. Okay. Well, we have to spend some power, so let's get some back. And we gotta spend some of the comms to get data and nav. We don't really need that much nav, so we can spend so that getting the rest back. We really need the data. Let's charge up though. Two turns remaining only. So we'll need two comms and a whole lot of data next time though. Um, maybe we should spend some of that and then next time we'll do the flyover course adjustment. Yep. Oh. That's the requirement. One data, one nav, lots of comms. I, I got comms to spend. Well, one comm to spend anyway. What I need is data. We basically need two of these, but we don't have enough nav to do that. If we had extra power, we could get more data. I think we'll just go with the requirement. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to play it conservatively. Yeah, we won't use all of our things. Just get what we need, and that'll be that. Okay, now we have to do... Mars Entry, Descent, and Landing. With the thermal thing. Okay, well... Dude, spend some thermal, darn it. Get some... Data? Oh, uh, we can get data without power, and that's probably better. Yeah, 
can use one data and get that. Okay. That keeps us cool. And why don't we go with that to get the nav? All right, resist. Is that more resistance? Okay, fine. Okay, bonus there. Got one heat this time. Comms, let's exchange the comms. So, basic requirements ready. Power. And let's just get extra power for now. Okay, that's good. That's barely good. And we got two heat. Well, I don't know just what to do with you. Let's get that. Oh, one short there. Okay, so we get a truckload of comms, and then we can do this twice. That's six of those and four of those, if we do this twice. Which should take care of it. It depends on how our... Our thermal is going, though. Alright, those seem... Nope, one problem. Um... Yeah, I want all the comms, otherwise plan... Part B of the plan wouldn't work. Oh, we got a lot of thermal. Okay, well, let's say we do that bit. Then we can extinguish that thermal and keep it below three. I don't think it'll add any random amount. It's at the start of the turn, not at the end of the turn. So we can get one power to resist. And so we'll have all our requirements. Let's see. That's okay. That will be resisted. And we're done. Okay, very good. Mars Lander, folks! It's got its own built-in thing. It doesn't use the sky crane or anything like that. I'll take it. Alright, we're the first to do a Mars Lander. Oh, reward. Lots of reward. Okay. Hopefully the science will flow. Okay, we completed the first Mars lander. I think that's a pretty good place to leave off, but let's queue up some more active missions. We've only got that impact analysis thing. It's about time we got a Jupiter mission or something, right? We got the, well, we did the Jupiter flyby. Galilean moons flyby. That seems good. We also paid for a potential Saturn mission. Let's do, let's queue up two really, because we got a lot of money just now. Let's do a Galilean Moon's flyby. With Voyager, sure. <laughs> I mean, what else are you going to use? This is expensive though. And then we're going to have a Saturn flyby. With Voyager, because Pioneer doesn't exist, you know. But, you know, we'll make it work. Now that I found out about that contractor that makes the vehicles cheaper, maybe it'll be good. Okay, so we have those being planned. That's uh, ambitious, ambitious stuff. We'll have a modular space station potentially a mission available. I don't know, maybe I'm spending too much money though. I don't think a lot of our missions are paying very well. The impact analysis is a science one too. So we're gonna have to watch out for that. 
But yeah, we'll tackle that when the time comes. So anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.